Hey guys, and welcome back to Eternal Darkness Blind, the last part. We got kind of roadblocked by this, um, magical sign here. However, I know how to get past it. We must dispel, we must use the, um, five-point power, and we must use the red alignment. I went off-screen, and basically I just... I just, you know, I tried a whole bunch of stuff. Because, again, I didn't want to be stuck here, you know, looking at spells. So, use the red one, poof, and it's gone. So let us continue. It's a cool area. Oh, it's just nothing over there? I was kind of... Um, is that like a... Oh, boy. I think we're, gonna, we're at the end here. Um, Alright, let's do this. Let's do... Wait, oh, no, shield. Okay. Um, I'll give myself a green shield, I guess. Jeez, that cost a lot of magic. But oh well. Um, spell list enchant item. Three points. I'll go red and I'll enchant the sword. Oh, that didn't take much. That's fine. Oh, alright. So now, um, equip the sword. Good. It's already equipped. And let's go. Hey there. Lying in a pool of his own blood is the custodian, Paul's only ally in his fight against the darkness. So wait, how did he get down here before me? <laughs> his soul, no doubt, lingers, fused to the altar on which his life has been taken. How do you know that? How does the narrator know this? Watching over his own rapidly cooling corpse, feeling all hope escape him, Paul's situation is suddenly a thousand times more desperate than before. Now he is alone, alone against the darkness. Oh no. You are a clever man, Brother Luther. Wanting answers to clarify your new position as fugitive, you seek them out, and this is what you find. <laughs> Tell me, what does a man such as yourself think of when he finds a viper's nest of heresy? When he finds the very source of corruption? I think of irony. Irony of what you, masquerading as a member of the Inquisition, stand for. And that you stand for evil. Evil is merely a perspective which no longer concerns me, Luther. You will be executed in the most painful manner imaginable. After we have broken your frail body and mind, in the name of our true lord, Zelatov. Come, my children. Feast on this morsel, and let us return to our preparations. Ow. Oh. Man, these guys die in, like, one hit. Jeez, and they sound like, uh... Nargakugas, that's kind of random. <laughs> they don't even have mouths. Why do they sound like Nargakuga? And hey, wait. Oh, okay, there we go. Yeah, unequip it. Be sure to unequip your sword when you're talking to somebody. Because in Skyrim, the guard will get angry at you if you don't. <laughs> oh, no, no, ow. Hit him. Thank you. There we go. Pretty helpful that I just happen to have a red sword against the uh, green guys. I'm assuming that this guy is, like, the green is Zelotath, so, or Zelototh, however you want to pronounce it. Examine. Dangling from worn iron chain, burning censers fill the room with a fetid incense. A acrid smoke, or acrid, I think it could be acrid, smoke rises from what can only be burning flesh. How do you know it's burning flesh? Maybe they're just uh, growing steaks. Man, I could take it. I would love an evil steak. That, you know, steak tastes so much better when it's sautéed in pure evil. It's delicious. You have no idea. I'll just casually walk through this door here. Okay, thank you. Now I'm through this door and I'll leave it open. <laughs> God. I'm just waiting for this guy to morph into, um, what's his name? Augustus. Because he sounds just like him. I'm pretty sure this guy is Augustus. All right, so down we go. Um, 
I'm going to put a shield back on. I'm going to not use a green one this time, though. I'm going to use a red one, because these guys are green. Oh, no, no, no. Ah. Uh, go all back, shield red. Thank you. Okay, because apparently those guys, like, repelled my shield last time, like, when they ran in. Because, like, as soon as they attacked me, my shield was gone. The door is decorated more than most within the catacombs. Sensing an immense evil behind this door, Paul wonders if the ceremony the monk had mentioned earlier is taking place behind it. Should Paul enter and put an end to the heresy? Mm, mm, nah, I'm good. I'm leaving. No, Alright, let's do it. Let's get in there. Oh no, we're going to have to fight that big thing. The giant face hugger. Or chest burster. Sorry, I couldn't resist. You should use Rogaine. Okay, I'm stopping. <laughs> I wonder if anybody can even tell what I said. I hope they can. Okay, so how the heck am I going to fight this thing? It's too big. Your task, my liege and greater guardian, is to guard this place. Do not worry about this world. This Aha! Yelps in terror at the sight of your mightiness. We will dispose of him ourselves. Oh, what? Oh, come on, that's cheating! Man, that's cheap. He just blows my head up. That's not fair. He used the cerebral bore on me. I can't... Ugh. That sucks. <laughs> Whoa. Did that... Did the house tilt? Uh, no? Okay. Um, here, I'm gonna equip the Gladius just in case I accidentally fire the gun. Note from Edward. My dearest Alex, I'm glad that you have followed my paper trail th or paper trail thus far. I knew I could depend on you. This will be the hardest part of your journey. Look for the Look for the 88 keys to continue your journey into the past. Edward. Ugh. 88 You okay, please tell me they're not being serious with that number. Oh, stop. What? I swear, if they actually mean to tell me there are 88 keys in this house that I gotta go find. Oh my god. Please tell me that that's not what they mean. Let it be some kind of metaphor. Please. <laughs> oh my god. Alright, um. Well, there's no flying books anymore. Uh, yeah, okay, alright. Nothing there. Oh, oh, there is flying books. Okay. Um, where do I need to start looking? Because it, I j all I know now is that I need to look for freaking 88 keys. And this room is the bane of my existence. I'm not going to waste a whole lot of time here until I'm, like, led to this room. So, I'm just going to look around, like, a little cursory inspection, and that's it. So, I'm not seeing anything out of the ordinary, so I'm out of here. Okay, what's next? Where would I even begin to look for 88 freaking keys? Okay, here, let me read that again. I want to see. Okay, follow my paper trail. 
I knew I could depend on you. Okay. The essence of Mantarok, alright? I was just reading it just to see if there was... Stop that! Yeah, yeah. Man, someone needs to run the air conditioning in here. Let all the miasma out. <laughs> I thought Luke already destroyed it all, but no, there's miasma. What a lazy douchebag. He doesn't destroy all of it. He only destroys the stuff in um, Aldrant. <laughs> Man. Undestroy the, the miasma here on Earth, too. Alright. Um. Yeah, yeah, there's nothing there. Okay, oh. Oh, but yeah, that is the uh, the pattern for, you know, the weaknesses. That's at least good to check up on. Oh! Holy God! What the hell, man? Who is that? Oh, he's gonna... I knew it. The darkness is coming. Whew. That scared me. Jeez, I just wasn't expecting to see somebody hanging there. Jeez. I knew he was going to open his eyes, though. I knew it. That's just too obvious. It's so obvious. You just, there's no way you can't do that. But, man, that, that kind of got me there. Man, that scared me. Not as much as the, uh, the bathroom scene and, you know, Alex screaming, but, man, <laughs> that did get me. Okay. Let's see here. Um, hey there, statue. Are we ever going to get to do anything with this thing? Because it's annoying. A uh, little jade horse. Nothing there. Um, let's see. How about here? Uh, no? Okay. Nothing there yet. A uh, little eagle. Hey, are there, like, jade statues all over the place? Hmm. I wonder if that has some significance. Oh, Alex, you're fine. The house is fine. Quit your belly aching. Okay. Oh, still can't go in there. Jeez. Um. I have no idea where I should be looking right now, so I'm kind of lost. Uh, painting. Of course, the painting is more important than this. Oh, that's a phone. It looked like an envelope with like a green wax seal. All right. Oh, boy, where else can we possibly even look at this point? Uh, I guess over here? What is that... What... Oh, what does that note even mean? Uh, stop with... Stop with the paintings! I don't care about the paintings. Or at least probably not as much as I should. Um... Okay. Do-do-do-do-do... Nothing here. But I, ugh. that's the problem. It's so cryptic. I mean, that's good. I like that it's cryptic. It really does build the atmosphere of the game. Like, it wouldn't just say, oh, Alex, go here and do this, and the story will progress. I like that it is cryptic, but it can, it can be a teensy bit annoying when it's so vague that you almost have nothing to go on. Quit laughing at me, demonic entities. I'm working here. Stop it! I'm trying to work here, and you're laughing, and, like, stupid laugh is, like, distracting me. Oh, and Alex, shut up. You're fine. They're just laughing at you. Don't worry. You're better than them. <laughs> Don't let them affect you that much. Uh, hey, Ratty Rat. How you doing? Oh, boy. Here we go again. Okay, um... Okay, I can't use the essence of Manta Rock. Um, do, do, do is this everything that brightened my life now goes in darkness? Okay, that's don't need that. Note from Edward. Oh, I'm losing. I have like no sanity. That's why that. Okay, here, why don't we just do that? Here, um, recover a bunch of sanity. I wonder if I only saw that hang dude because I had low sanity. I'm glad that I had that then, because that really got me. <laughs> I was not expecting that. Alright, and poof. 
There we go. That's better. Okay. I guess we could head back to, like, the study. The secret study, I mean. Maybe there's something there. Or... Oh, right, that's that stupid room that has never done anything for me. Uh, the tree, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, no, no, no. Ugh, stop, thank you. The thing that's weird is that, um... It's like my instinct to press B to exit the, um... You know, to exit the menu, or not the menu, you know, like the little dialogue box or the viewing of something. But the way you exit it is just by moving away. But it takes a second for it to actually disappear. So it always gets me. I'm trying to move away, and then it doesn't move, it doesn't change. And then, you know, I press B again, try to exit it, and then I look at it again. Um, okay, Thailand or Cambodia, 88 keys, 88 keys. What the crap does that even mean? I don't know. Okay, he's trying to candles. Man. I have no idea what this could possibly mean. 88 keys. 88 keys. On my paper trail. That I mean, that's all they're giving me. Look for the 88 keys to continue your journey into the past. Where would that even be? Like, we've never seen any, like, like, we haven't seen any, like, key rings or anything. Hmm. I mean, this is the only room where I haven't done anything yet. And those kind of look like eight. I mean, I guess, you know how it's just, ugh, I don't know. I can't go here, though. I know that I can't go in here because I'm going to waste another, like, 50 minutes in here doing nothing and just failing. Oh! What the... I was never able to look at that, I don't think. Either that or I just never noticed it. Um... You know, this is the most convoluted... Wait, adjust mirror? Wait a minute. No, okay. Wait a minute, what mirror am I adjusting exactly? Yeah, nothing's moving. Hmm. I'm not seeing anything moving. Like, you'd think the telescope would be changing. You know? Like it would be altering its traje uh, trajectory. It's kind of a, a tricky word, honestly. Okay. There be dragons here. <laughs> it's Skyrim! Alright. Um, I don't think there's anything in here for me. So, I think before this gets too long, I'm going to end it off. And in the next part, we will continue our search for the 88 keys of... <sighs> See you guys next time.